Hey guys, it's me, RB Studios, and I'm back again with another LEGO Speed Champions video for you guys, and today we're going to be talking about the new 2022 LEGO Speed Champion sets coming March 1st. I'm so excited. I've been seeing pictures of these sets be leaked throughout the week, and I was like, I'm just going to wait till the end of the week, put it all together in a video, and it's going to be so awesome, and there's some more awesome sets that have just been revealed, so let's go through it by set number, taking a look at each car individually, and first up, we have 76906. This is a 1970s Ferrari. 512M. This is a very nice classic race car Ferrari. I believe it's from Le Mans. Very nice. I love the minifigure include with the included with the all white uh, race suit. There's the number four around the car. Uh, I like the kind of buttresses that go around the wheel arches and that kind of low front look. I believe that's like a classic Ferrari type look. I also like the flat back with those two little wings and then the open. I, I like the open concept too in the back where there's basically just nothing other than the exhaust pipes. The gold wheels look amazing. And I think that is a print on the kind of like what they use for Lego Star Wars as a cockpit piece there. Uh, obviously, you can put the minifigure inside. I think it's just a really cool Ferrari overall. Uh, one thing I have not talked about is the specs or like the specs for the Lego set, I guess. So this one's going to include 291 pieces. It's going to retail for $20 USD and $20. Four dollar or twenty five dollars Canadian, very very nice. I think that's fair price, and I think the car overall just looks great. Next up, we have the Lotus Evira. I think that's how you say that. This is a really cool. I think this is more of Lotus's like hypercar or higher end uh, sports cars that they're looking at making. I really like the way this looks with the gold and the green, like the British racing green kind of, with the um, very nice. Um, wheels I, I like the uh the design that they have there it looks like an eight spoke or a, a 12 spoke i can't really tell uh and then you've got this very nice like gold accenting all the way around that goes all the way around the back of the engine bay to the end which i think just looks great and the gold stripe down the middle i like the printing for the headlights uh, i think that looks great as well uh, I think they really captured the look of this car very nicely. Uh, the minifigure as well is great. It includes that kind of, again, British racing green suit, which is awesome because, of course, Lotus is a British sports car making company. Go with British racing green. It looks good. It's great. Again, this one's going to include 247 pieces, so a bit less, but it's going to have the same retail price as before, $20 USD and $25 Canadian. Moving on, we've got one of my favorite cars on this list. We have the Lamborghini Countach. This is so sick. This is set 75908. This one's going to include 262 pieces. Again, same price, $20, $25 super super excited i love the wheel design on that they got the five hole spoke kind of thing that they do which was on the diablo it was on the murcielago it just it looks amazing here on the countach as well i love that they did the white uh, i don't think it's the triple white like the wolf of wall street but it's the white wheels white exterior and then you got just the red interior i don't really the minifigure looks great as well i just want to throw that in there obviously they all come with wrenches very nice uh lamborghini jacket on awesome figure and then yeah just this car is just amazing i love the design obviously it's kind of easy shape to get in lego um because it is a wedge with the kind of like wedges coming off the side at the top um and i love the wing i just i love the way this car looks i can't wait to i can't wait to pick this one up this is a day one purchase for me super super awesome and i, I just love the way the front comes in with the splitter it just it looks like the car and it's great and i love the way they did like the old classic kind of lego city headlights in there too just to tie that back in i thought that was awesome so yeah very very happy with that set the next set on the list is another one this is probably my favorite set of the wave um and then the Lamborghini Countach. This is the Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance, so the F1 car. And then this is the best part: the F or not, sorry, not the F1, the Mercedes AMG Project One, which is their hypercar based off the F1 car. This is going to be such a cool set for forty dollars Canadian or thirty dollars USD. It's going to include five hundred and sixty-four pieces. The set number is seven five nine zero nine. Just again, moving up in the set numbers beautiful set it's going to include two minifigures uh, a couple different wheel types um the cars themselves are amazing the 
um, AMG Project One is something that Mercedes has been working on for several years now, and I think they captured the look of what the car looks like almost better than some of the pictures that I've seen online. Um, I like the way the front kind of cuts in with that AMG logo for where the license plate would be. I like how they got like kind of the Patronus stripes going down the side. Um, they got the uh, um, the fin on the back and also the wing kind of line up perfectly along with the roof scoop which just looks amazing they've kind of got those two like um, wheel arch pieces on the front in the hood to get that kind of louvridge which looks nice the mirrors are on there uh, you can see side skirts um, and obviously just the built up front bumper it just looks amazing I love the headlights the car is just beautiful and from behind as well uh, with the AMG one kind of covering the license plate just looks amazing it just ties in so beautifully yeah, and with the with the wheels I think it just looks amazing and then we've got just another amazing car that I'm super excited to own um, and that's the F1 car it looks so good it looks so accurate um, just to F1 cars of the past I don't think this is based off the 2021 season I don't know I maybe it's based off the two I I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've been getting into F1 recently, and this is just something that is so, so cool. I love the Pirelli around the uh, tires. I think that looks amazing. I love the front look, how they captured the AMG car. I love that they've got even the sponsors down there, um, Tommy Hilfiger and whatnot. Uh, just looks great. I think there's a signature at the top there, probably from Lewis Hamilton. Uh, I love that they got the little... I forget what you call that, but it's the little piece that kind of blocks the head or from when they, if the cars were to flip over, I just think that looks great. I love the way they got the angles going to the back. They got the very nice wing on the back for the DRS and everything. Just looks amazing. They captured that like red part that goes up top where um, the roof scoop is. I guess there's not really a roof on this car. You got AMG logos everywhere, Patronus logos everywhere. It just looks so awesome. I can't wait to have this set in person. This is like one of the best sets of 2022 for me so far. I'm super excited. 40 bucks, definitely a day one pickup on March 1st. Now moving on to another set that I really love and um, is another one of these kind of cars that are based off Formula One cars. In it, that's the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro and the Aston Martin Vantage GT3. So the GT3, I guess we'll start with that one because I actually do really love the way it looks. They really captured the front nicely because Aston Martin has this kind of like weird hexagon top with a square bottom grill thing, which I think they like captured very nicely. Um, the wing on the back is obviously huge. Obviously, it's a GT3 car. The wings are huge. That's just the way it is. Um, the interior looks like it's green, like the lime green. I like the detailing. Obviously, I don't like this set as much as the Mercedes one, but still very, very cool. The two minifigures are great as well. Obviously, this is these both these cars are track race cars focused. Um, so, yeah, very, very nice. I love the Aston Martin Vantage there, and I love one of the pictures of this with the sun shining on it. And then the other thing we got is the very, very nice Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. Super cool. I, I just love the way these F1 type cars are looking. Uh, you can see kind of the teardrop shape. I, I don't love the red and green accents. I don't think that looks particularly good. It might have been good to do the darker red, kind of like what they do for the Boba Fett helmets or like on a gunship. Uh, I think that might have looked better, but you know. It is what it is. You kind of got that British racing stripe green again going through the car and then the lime green look again on the bottom or on the back of the car. You can see kind of the unfinished look. And I also love here taking a look at this picture, the uh, Aston Martin Vantage, because you can just see the way they did those headlights to get that kind of swooping um, hexagon type look. And then from the top here, you can again see the uh, Aston Martin AM or the Valkyrie AMR Pro, uh, very very nice. I like the way you can just see kind of through behind the fenders. Super bare bones car. It just all about speed and all about F1 tech. Super super cool. And I love the way Lego captured it in Lego. Uh, very very nice. Very very nice. Super awesome wave. As you can guys can tell, I'm super super excited for all of these sets. I can't wait. Uh, March first, all of these drop. Usually we see these January first. So I don't know why they were pushed back, but you know. It is what it is. I'm super excited uh, to pick these ones up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.